This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. It's, uh, it's a bit wet outside. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hello, everybody. That plane's very low, although I'm not quite sure if you can see that because it's in its mist now, in the fog, whatever you want to call it. Just over there, you might be able to see it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, today is Thursday and uh, it is half past 10 in the morning. Normally, I uh, start vlogging a little bit earlier. Um, I've missed the first run. I've already done one run this morning. Went to Oxford. Got there for about, I don't know, half past six in the morning. Left the yard about half past five. Come back to South Cerny to get loaded. And we were going to go to Morton on the Marsh. Uh, but now we are going, uh, why is he flashing me? Does he know me? Hello? No, he's beacons. That's what it is. Beacons are on. <laughs> Yeah, we're on a, we were going to go more on the marsh, but now we are going to Marlborough instead. That is what we're doing. Just flash this guy in. Let's just all get settled. Let's calm down. Hello. <laughs> yeah, uh, that guy flashed me, and obviously I get flashed quite a few times during the day. So normally I, I normally it's because they know me or they watch the channel. But yeah, I saw him do that, and that means your beacons are on. And I looked up, and this they were indeed on. So never mind. We sorted that out. So yeah, that was a bit of an eventful start, wasn't it, to the vlog? <laughs> anyway, we're on our way to Marlborough, like I said. Not entirely sure what we're doing after. I was told we'd be doing a local run to Swindon, but time will tell. I'm not that bothered, we just have to see, see how it goes. But uh, we're on the road, we've got to take the A419 all the way until the M4, um, and then we go straight over the M4. I'm not entirely sure what that road is actually called, but we've, we take that road all the way up um, to Marlborough which is obviously where we're going. Now, about, I don't know, maybe about an hour ago, I put a message up on Facebook saying, if you want a shout out, comment, and I'll give you a shout out. So I do have a list of names that I will be uh, giving shout outs to throughout this vlog, uh, so keep watching. Um, and I do apologize in advance if I pronounce anybody's names incorrect, and I almost guarantee you that I will pronounce probably a good 25% of your names incorrect because I am absolutely horrible with pronunciation of words. <laughs> I, uh, I've always been bad. I, I sort of say it how I see it um, and normally that's wrong. <laughs> so uh, I do uh, apologise in advance if I do say your name wrong. But yeah, I, I, I put on my Facebook page uh, if you want to shout out or if you've got any questions, comment now. And I, I left that up for 20 minutes. Um, I think I've got around about 30 people comment, something like that. So um, you'll, you'll all be getting a shout out. No particular order either, because Facebook randomizes the comments that were left. So um, yeah, do keep an, an ear out for your name. We will start off with someone called Hey Des Sean. Sean, Sean, Hey Des Sean. Hello, shout out to you. Uh, you want to know what is the best company for HGV finance? And I've got to tell you, I don't really understand your question because I'm not a boss. I don't actually insure my truck. My boss does, so um, I don't know the answer to that. Um, best company for HGV insurance. Um, that's the only way I can assume what you mean. Like, um, Unless you mean what's the best company to work for because you're under a certain age, in which case, I don't know. A lot of, I know a lot of companies um, want you to be 21 or older. Some companies, I think, want 25 or older just for insurance purposes because um, they pay less insurance. But not all insurance companies are like that. So, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I can't answer that question. Uh, Dano, Dano Bine, you wanted a shout out. Jake Bourbon and your brother, Thomas. Uh, and also, happy birthday to you as well, buddy. And uh, hopefully, you're having a good time. Kai Miller, uh, you've been watching since I was on Tippers. So, hello to you, sir. Ollie Gordon Rump from Swansea. So, um, hello, Swansea. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the biggest weekend if you went. That was in Swansea, wasn't it? Over the weekend. And uh, we finish off this segment, if you like, with um, Kyle Hendy. 
I do have a bit of paper in front of me. Kyle, I think it's Kyle Hendy, you want advice on your class two theory? Um, practice, you, uh, it's a hundred questions, I think you've got to get something like, I don't know, don't quote me on this, but like 86, right, or something like that, maybe more. Um, yeah, just practice, practice, practice. Download the official um, theory test kit for your laptop or computer, or download an app on your phone, and just practice, mate, you've just got to practice. Um, it's a hundred questions in the exam, and there's thousands that, you can, that they can choose from, so, yeah. <laughs> practice that's the only advice i can say i've said it 10 times now <laughs> and uh, yeah i wish you best of luck so um all oh, got a message um so yeah that's um that's going to be the first list of names gone let's take that off and uh <laughs> two more bits of paper left to go so keep an eye out for that and uh, your name will be mentioned if you commented on the uh your facebook page anyway let's crack on to marlborough and uh i'll see you when we get a little bit closer You join me 23 minutes later, because it's not that far away from where we're based, uh, and we're about five minutes away. Not far away at all. 4.5 metre bridge at Pusey. We ain't got to worry about that. We're under that, and I don't think we go under that bridge anyway. No, I'm pretty sure we don't go under that bridge. So, uh, yeah, we're nearly uh, nearly here now at Marlborough. I've only ever been to this place once before. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a, you know the app, Google Maps. Well, if you hit the three lines in the top left-hand corner and go down to your timeline, it tells you where you have been um, and what time and like everything. It, tell, it sort of like tracks your movements, if you allow it. And the good thing about that is that um, it recognises that you're at places, such as a builder's merchant, and the next time you Google it, it tells you when exactly you arrived. So I know that I, I was last here nine months ago <laughs> because it said on uh, Google Maps because um, I hadn't had it saved on my sat nav or anything like that. So when I when I searched it to get the correct postcode and have a look to see where I got to go and things like that, look on like top down view, it told me that I'd been here nine months ago. And then I remembered um, like what I did last time. Uh, it gets a little bit tight down here for two Arctics. Let's slow right down. This engine decides it wants to rev up. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I was here nine months ago, and I actually remember the last time I was here, I did work out of South Surrey, which is what I'm doing now. Tipped here quite late, we're talking five o'clock, and then went straight down to Southampton from here. I got to Southampton for like seven o'clock, ready for the morning. This truck really doesn't like going downhill. Oh, talking of truck. Um, it may not be happening for a while, but I may well be getting another truck. Now it's done up in the sense of it's got lights on the stuff, but it has not been wrapped yet. I'm hoping if I do get it, it will be wrapped. I'll let him come out. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be changing trucks until after Truck Fest. It's basically the sister truck of the old white one I had with the Irish plates on. And um, the driver who has been driving it is leaving, and my boss is thinking of downsizing. But um, that's just uh, all speculation. He said he was just thinking out loud. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he will, to be honest. But we we'll seem to see buses coming left. Is there anybody on the right of him? No, there isn't. Got to look out for motorcycles. You see. Marlborough isn't very big, but it is um, quite a busy place. What's all that smoke coming out of there? A bit of smoke just randomly coming out. Right, we want to take a, a right at the second roundabout. And then we'll be there. So I am going to have to go because when I come around this corner, you may see there's the builder's merchants and... Um, yeah, so I am going to go. <laughs> and I'll see you when we are leaving. 
and we're on our way back to South Cerny. Right. Window up, beacons off. We are literally just leaving Marlborough now. Heading back to South Cerny, which is where we get loaded. Oh. It was uh, relatively eventful when we got there. It's, it's not the largest uh, place and um, I sort of, there's no room to tip me either side. You've got to do one side or the other. And then uh, once one side's done, you've got to move over. Yeah, you can't come around until I'm gone. There's a truck there. Um, yeah, so then you've got to move on over to the other side bef before they uh, untip you on the other side. So I moved over and, um, and then a car parked uh, on the side had just been tipped. So no, no one else could get past. And um, the forklift, they weren't very really happy about it because obviously now she was blocking up the path. And uh, she she then come back. She's only gone like three, four minutes. She wouldn't gone long. But when she come back, she looks at me and she goes, is he moaning about me? I was like, is that your car? And she said, yeah. I was like, well, yes, he is. I said, you haven't parked in the best space, have you? <laughs> so um, I told her, I said, no one can get past. I said, that's the problem. And she said, oh, I was only around the corner for a little bit. I was like, oh, well. I never said anything to her after that. I just told her. But I did, I did say to her, I was like, it's not the best place to park. But never mind. Anyway, we are heading back to South Sydney, as I've just said. I have got no idea what I'm doing. I was told a local run. Uh, a local run, in my opinion, is a Swindon run. And they did say Swindon as well. But I'm not entirely confident that that is what I will actually be doing. Oh, you let me through, thank you. I reckon they might send me somewhere else, but time will tell. ETA there is 25 for one this afternoon. We're only half an hour away. And uh, yeah, we'll get there and find out what it is exactly we will be doing next. So a uh, couple more shout outs to mention, but well, more than a couple. We got Aaron Sargent, we got Tracy, Kev Nui, any relation to Adrian Nui? He's uh, probably the best Formula One designer ever. Are you gonna let me through? No, he doesn't look like he will let me through. Yes, he is let me through. It's like almost an unwritten rule that you, a lorry going up a hill, you let go first because they struggle more. I mean, I am actually empty, so it's not actually the case, but, but it is. In my opinion, it's an unwritten rule. If I see a lorry coming up and hit and I can stop, I will stop just to let them come up. So yeah, uh, Tracy Kavnui, uh, George Green. Hello to you, sir. Let's go around this corner. Uh, we've got Kaylee Paul, Kevin Andy. Apparently they're the number one team at uh, Matthew Clark. Uh, we've got John Farrell, just, uh, just past this class two. And hopefully I will see you on the road soon, buddy. So thank you very much for your comment as well. We've got Richard, McDermott, uh, Wayne Ados, is it Ados? Aldos? Don't know how you pronounce it, that. <laughs> Callum Barron, um, because you're special, thank you very much for letting me know that you are special. Uh, and Keith Lawrence Burton, and also you wanted to know, well actually Keith, you said, you, you said how many wheels, I'm not entirely sure what you meant, you just said how many wheels, question mark. So I'm assuming you mean how many wheels do I have in my truck? And the answer to is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 wheels on this truck. Um, yeah, that's the answer. So yeah, that's another list of names gone. Uh, do not fear, if you did leave a comment on my Facebook page, I will mention your name later on. Um, we've got another page to go. So yes, uh, let's crack on then to South Cerny. And uh, I'll see you when we're leaving and we know what it is exactly that we are doing. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price beat they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Hello, right, so we are on our way now to do our third and final run of the day. Ch change did happen, we are no longer doing Swindon, we're no longer doing a local run, we are going 40 minutes out. Not only are we doing 
uh, a run which is relatively far away. It's also quite late in the day. I got back to be loaded at half past 12 and it's three o'clock, well it's gone three o'clock now. Uh, we just left, so we're there for two and a half hours waiting to be loaded, which is not ideal. Ideally, you want to be in and out in an hour. It didn't happen, so. <laughs> the joys of trucking, unfortunately, things don't go to plan. So I've been there, sat there for two and a half hours waiting to be loaded. What that means is, uh, we are going to be working relatively late tonight. Now, most builders merchants don't take a delivery after four o'clock. My ETA is literally 10 to four. So I've got to hope that they take it. They've rang ahead and they've told them I'm on my way and that I'm stuck in traffic, which is a never so slight lie. I will be stuck in traffic. There's traffic up ahead at Birdlip Hill. Uh, but they basically told them I'm already there at Birdlip. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'm gonna be there for 10 to four. Hopefully get unloaded nice and quickly. Um, and then back to the yard for six. I haven't got a preload myself because the trailer which I'm taking tomorrow is already preloaded. I've got to go back to the yard, unhitch this trailer, hitch up to a flatbed trailer and take a load to Birmingham tomorrow morning. Uh, and I've got to go down some dodgy, dodgy country lanes like the trees are so low they hit the cab is what my boss has told me. So that's why I need to take the flatbed because the trailer is taller than the cab. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. Might, might vlog that tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. But the, yeah, so. Here's what it is. Uh, do some more shout outs. Um, so we've got Neil Williams. Neil Williams is a very long time subscriber. I, and I know he is. Uh, he was, he, he's told me in the comments that he uh, has watched me since uh, back of the tippers and stuff like that. So, and I know he has pretty much because his name's a very familiar name. It's one of the names, um, what I recognize him. Put it this way, when I first started doing YouTube, my Facebook page was not locked and I would accept friend requests. I'm pretty sure Neil Williams is a, is a friend on my Facebook account. Um, they got to a certain stage where I was getting loads of friend requests. My girlfriend put a stop to it and she told me, no, you're not adding, <laughs> adding weirdos as she put it. I'm not saying you're a weirdo, Neil, uh, but yeah, she uh, put a stop to me accepting friend requests um, for our children's sake because I upload photos of our children and stuff like that every now and then. So. For those of you who I did accept, such as you, Neil, I've I've kept you on because like I'm not I'm not rude, but yeah. So I do know Neil Williams is, has been a long time subscriber. So thank you very much, Neil. Thank you uh, for commenting and asking for the shout out. Um, let's let these vehicles out before commencing. Yeah, we're going to overtake. We've also got uh, Stefan Wrigley. We've got Matthew Collins. We've got, um, now, excuse me for this, Andri Andrusia, hopefully I pronounced that correct. Like I said, I probably haven't, probably got loads of people's surnames and main names wrong. I'm absolutely horrendous. Jason Merritt, Huo Mali, hello. Right, we're gonna go over now. Thank you very much for letting me in. We've got uh, Robert Ibbotson. Uh, and your, I believe it's your son, Henry, who's three years old, apparently watches my channel as well. So, hello, Henry, and uh, thank you very much for watching. We've got a few more to shout out. We've got, uh, well, actually, the last person is uh, Zach Eckley, who asks, uh, what song do I know by memory and will I sing? And uh, the answer is, no. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna sing. And um, also, you're not actually the last person to give a shout out. You're the last person to comment. I'm not necessarily the last person to comment, but you're the last people, last name I wrote down uh, from the comments that I uh, asked you to write down on my first Facebook page. I then wrote a second uh, Facebook post, not page, and I said thank you to everybody who had uh, commented. And a few people have, who said on that post that they tried commenting, but I removed it uh, just before, just before they managed to press enter. So I'm just gonna flash this guy in. And then I shall continue with the uh, with the shout outs. Right, we've got Stephen Bishop, we've got James Feel, I think that's how you pronounce it. Feel. Uh, Caroline and hubby Rob Anderson. So hello to you two as well. Matt Highway, highway, highway maintenance van wants to get there on the truck by the looks of it. 
Uh, we've got Kieran Sainty, who one of those, you know, you get people who you sort of recognise, and I and I know just by saying that name, Kieran Sainty, that you've got a profile picture of a black lorry. Am I correct? Just, just, I just know it. It's just one of those things. It's a bit of weird hand movement there. Uh, Rodney Fisher, I believe, is your surname. Can't quite read my own handwriting from over here. <laughs> Uh, and then we also got Jonathan Manning and Logan Hurry. So uh, shout out to everybody who I've uh, mentioned. Thank you very much for asking for a shout out. Now I don't normally do shout outs because uh, I'm not going to lie. There's just so many of you. <laughs> this I, this post was up for 20 minutes, uh, just 20 minutes, and I got 35 people asked for a shout out. Um, uh, you know, that's near, nearly two every. Uh, minute in it is like one every 90 seconds am I right in saying so uh, yeah so thank you to all them now to those of you watching who haven't had your name shouted out you probably found this bit quite boring but uh, for those of you who I have shouted out your name hopefully you've enjoyed so we're going to crack on now and go to Gloucester if I haven't told you where I'm going I'm going to Gloucester <sighs> and hopefully get back ASAP drop the trailer off change trailer over do the Birmingham run, come back again, change trade over again, and then carry on with the working day. We will see. So, let's crack on, see you in a bit. And there we go, that is today finished. We managed to get that load off relatively fast. I think we were there for, well, I got there five to four, and it's now 25, no, 20, sorry, 20 to five. So, um, what's that, 50 minutes? So it normally takes about an hour. So, um, yeah, relatively quick. So, not too bad. Yeah, uh, driving back now to the yard, ETA back to the yard is 20 past 5 and then obviously we've got to swap trailers over. Uh, if I can, I'll give it a quick wash as well and hopefully be finished by 6. Um, ideally, I don't want to be finishing any later than 6 because I'll be starting tomorrow at 5 and um, then I get 11 hour rest in. So uh, I definitely need to be finished by 6 anyway, so I might not have time to wash the truck actually, think about it. We'll see! We will see... If not, then I'll just do it tomorrow or the day after. Not really fussed. The weather outside means if you wash it, it's going to get dirty again anyway. <laughs> oh, hiccups. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I do plan to do a, a vlog tomorrow, so that'll be up as well, hopefully. Um, tomorrow. The day after you see this one. We'll see. Depends on uh, what time I have. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.